Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to revisit some of my favorites from a couple years ago or last year where I absolutely swear by this product and I want to see how they perform again on my face. This is how everything looks like and uh, also I kind of wanted to make sure that I really really uh, still have them as my favorites and uh, Hopefully that's going to help you a little bit in your search for your favorites. So if you're interested to see uh, which these products are, what do I still think about them, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I already applied my primer because this primer, I tried it already and I know it's still a really good primer and I still love it. And this is this one from Ulta Beauty. This is the Poreless Face Primer. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one years ago and I still, I'm still having it in my collection. It only has a little bit in. This was repurchased so many times and I still love it. It's not necessarily still my favorite, but it's still one of my favorites. Now let's go to foundation. Foundation has been uh, one of those things that I just been obsessed about, right? And and this foundation I have repurchased so many times. Um, and this is Born This Way from Too Faced. This is definitely something that I absolutely love for so many years and I absolutely uh, think it's an amazing, amazing foundation. Now, do I still think it's the best foundation? I have no idea. And I have mine in golden. So let's go ahead and apply it with a crazy sponge that I did review, I think this is called the Miracle something, Miracle Sponge from, um, what is it? I'm going to put the name over here because I don't remember their name right now. Uh, Real Techniques, Real Techniques. So I'm going to go with this because this is, has like a silicone part and then all of, this, all of the rest, it is made of sponge material. But I really like the silicone sponge because I wanted at that time to be able to apply it directly on it and not put it on my hand anymore. But I still did that today. So <laughs> let's go with it. And also I really enjoyed the fact that you can spread it on your face really, really fast. The foundation, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, it's such an amazing coverage and the way it looks on the skin is just absolutely gorgeous this is definitely a full coverage foundation i mean you can share it out if you really want to um i remember back then i didn't i was all about making sure that everything is covered i was suffering a, a lot of acne and things but not only that but i felt like Full coverage is not going to fail on me. I prefer to have it like that because it's going to last on my face. A lot of the times, anything that was light coverage would not last on my face. And I have to say this foundation is still absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what they put in this foundation that makes it look so natural, but also so full coverage, but also looks like it's your skin, but also looks like it's uh, you have no pores. Uh, it's just amazing. It's an amazing foundation, and I still love it. Still love it. Probably I'm going to repurchase this every year to have it in my collection just to make sure when those days where I really, really need to feel confident with my skin, it's there and I can apply it on my face. Now, the next thing in here, I have a concealer. The concealer that I used to wear the most, 
has been shape tape from Tarte. And I recently repurchased it in a mini size. And I'm trying to take it out of here because I remember how much I used to love this. And I really wanted to have it in my collection just to be able to apply it anytime I feel like I need the biggest coverage under my eyes. And by the way, I have mine in uh, 35 and medium. And look at that. Absolutely love it still. Still, I think this is an amazing, amazing um, concealer. Very full coverage and absolutely gorgeous on the eyes now another favorite i used to be this one from maybelline this is fit me loose finished powder and uh, i used to have two of them i did uh finish almost finished the other one but i still have this one that is in medium and i'm gonna go with this one a little bit under my eyes but also i'm gonna go um all over my face I used to set up my under eyes with the one that was a lighter shade, but I guess this is going to work too. And uh, no, I'm not baking. I'm just pressing powder into my face because I never used to bake back then. And then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and then make sure I set my foundation. Just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I remember doing this, especially for those really long days for work because uh, I really needed to have something that was more like transfer proof for uh face base right and i never put a little a lot of emphasis on my eyes when i used to go to work it was more like my face has to look impeccable impeccable you know and for the bronzer this used to be my favorite bronzer this is the butter bronzer from physicians formula and i'm gonna go with this one today it's amazing, an amazing bronzer. I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna like this. So far, I like all of them. Um, have them been replaced from like the top of the top? Some of them have. And I'm gonna let you know all at the end which one uh, has been replaced by what. But so far, I still love every single one of them. And also, I am going to go with this one from Hourglass. This is the Ambrian Gradient Bronze Light. And I'm going to add this on top as well. And this is how it looks inside. I really do love these uh, Hourglass powders. Absolutely gorgeous. But I thought oh, it's going to look even better on top of this. Because these two bronzer, they're not very pigmented, but they give you a very natural, beautiful, glowing look. There you go. Now for blush, one blush that I remember loving a lot is this one from Alme. This is the powder blush in 20 mauve. And I really like this color. It's a really unique color to find. And uh, I remember when I bought it, it was the only one that I had in this color. And I was really curious to see if I'm going to like it. And I loved it the first second I put it on. It's such a beautiful but also very natural uh, look to it. You know what I mean? Mm. 
but I, I think this is one of the most natural looking um, for my skin tone blush and for highlighter I'm gonna go with this one this used to be maybe over there somewhere in there the the starlight star island from Ofra cosmetics and I'm not a big fan of highlighter but I used to like it I used to like this one so let's just try it and see if it's still I know there's a lot like this the Ofra make some blinding highlighters and I would say maybe this will be the first product that I think I don't really enjoy that much anymore There we go. Now for brows, I don't have anything from brows here that I used to have back then, but I'm going to quickly do them off camera with this NYX Professional Makeup Lift and Snatch uh, Brow Tint Pad. All right, so now that our face base is done, uh, we can go with eyes and one eyeshadow palette that I was looking because I have I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes um, I'm definitely gonna have to do a video soon with showing what is in my collection but I really really loved these eyeshadow palettes these are from Pat McGrath, of course, this is the small one and it's called the subversive. I don't have, I don't own any of the big ones. I, I, I keep contemplating on getting one, but then I get overwhelmed uh, of like not knowing which one I want the most. So then I end up not purchasing. But these, I did purchase them when they were on sale. Um, and this one is absolutely beautiful. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And today I'm in the mood to go with more of a reddish tone. So I think I'm going to go with this and also this, these two colors. And I want to create something really simple, but also very beautiful. So I'm going to go with the darker shade first. And I'm going to add this more into my crease and outer corner. Let me get a mirror. Absolutely beautiful colors in this one. And then I'm gonna take the sorry. And then I'm gonna take this color right here, the red one, the copper, I guess, is more. Absolutely gorgeous. They don't call it Pat McGrath for nothing, you know. The mother. insane 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 the formula is insane the only eyeshadow palette that came close very very close to this one and i really thought it exceeded this one but now when i'm playing with this again i think i was wrong um it it was sydney grace sydney sydney grace and tarnie Tiny Marvels eyeshadow palette. These are like melting, melting on your eyes. 
uh, there's like literally almost no blending necessary and they look absolutely insane. These colors, they're just absolutely amazing. I, I don't know what to say more than that. Like, I remember when I first tried them, I was gasping for air because I just couldn't believe it. And I still, I still cannot believe how beautiful these look. Might have to just like, you know, hit that button and just like, I might have to just hit that uh, purchase button, <laughs> checkout button and get a big one, you know. Um, I think in the inner corner, I'm definitely going to go with this gold one. And I'm going to take whatever is left on this and just go under my eye. Just kind of combine the two colors. And then I'm going to grab one of these clean ones and just kind of go a little bit above. The eyeshadow just kind of blend those edges. I do have just a tiny bit of fallout on this cheek, so let me make sure I take it off. And you have no problems taking that off. And this is how the look is right now. I know it's a little bit dark for summer, but it's beautiful, beautiful, absolutely worth it, this eyeshadow palette. I still, I still kind of believe this is, this still is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from my collection. Now for the eyeliner, I am going to go with this one that it says Men Eater from Tarte. This was not necessarily my favorite but I don't have my favorite anymore. That was from, my favorite was from Physicians Formula and it was from the Cat Eye Collection. I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen. And I love that uh, eyeliner, very easy to maneuver and very pigmented, very beautiful and an amazing price as well. Now for my waterline, I am going to go with Makeup Geek and I have a purple eyeliner from her that I received in the mystery box that I purchased this year. And I kind of want to see how it's going to going to look. Hmm. That looks okay-ish. Now uh, for mascara, the mascara that I used to love so very much <laughs> it was this one from kkw this is just called mascara and i did repurchase it a while back i haven't opened it since but it is time to reopen this baby and see if i still like it i remember loving this so so much so much i was i was obsessed with it that until I got um, a different mascara from Marc Jacobs that I really loved afterwards. So this is still definitely a favorite as well because this was one of those uh, mascaras that were very dry like if you don't like a dry formula don't buy this but i absolutely love it because when i was in a rush back when i was going to work 
I was always in a rush when I was putting my makeup. But when I was in a rush, I did not have anything uh, transferred to my top line, a uh, top transferred to my eyelid or anything like that. I could go like super quick with this uh, mascara and have absolutely no problems with it. It doesn't transfer on the bottom at all. And not only that, but it also lifting and gives it my, it gives my um lashes a little bit of curling effect as well. So I really appreciated this back then. I still love it even today. Absolutely amazing. I remember getting really annoyed with some people that were trying this um, and they were like commenting how it is really bad and thus and that and how they don't like it. And then they will uh, they will put lashes on, right? Like every single time they will have some sort of lashes on. So I was like very mad at those people because it's like you don't understand how it is to be uh, somebody that wears mascara without having to wear lashes on top. We need something in a specific way and you don't understand it so stop talking about it because not everybody is just gonna throw some big ass lashes on top and call it a day you know what i mean now i'm gonna use another kkw product and this is the um lip liner in you too love this I love this so much. I love this color. The the it's extremely creamy, very easy and fast to maneuver. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. And now for the Lipstick, I'm gonna go with this one from Boxum. I really like this one. I remember liking it back then too. And this is Vava Plump Light Down. It has a little bit of a cooling effect. Mm, so beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I love, 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 love love how this makeup turned out to be i cannot believe these products are still as amazing as i used to remember them the foundation the foundation is absolutely insane insane this foundation i don't know uh if i could say i have a different foundation that i love as much i thought you know the fenty beauty ease drop is gonna be better than this but the moment i apply this on my face no this is still one of my top top foundations and uh, let me tell you i tried so many foundations this year and last year and the year previous but this is just it's perfect for me, for oily skin, for the way it covers, for the way it makes me feel. Absolutely amazing. Still 100% this stays top. Top, top, top. Now for a uh, powder, definitely not. I really love this powder still, but the powder has changed. Um, this is an amazing powder, but I have found a few more other powders that I absolutely love. One of them has to be the one that I recently tried from Huda Beauty. Insane how it sets my face, insane how it makes my look, my face look so much smoother. So the powder, not anymore, but still really good up there. Now for the bronzers, I love both of them. I love the Hourglass also the bottle bronzer from physicians formula for bronzers i don't know if i do have a different one that i really really love right now i would have to say these ones are still pretty good and i still really really love how they look on my face absolutely beautiful but i don't think i have necessarily another one that kind of makes me scream you know what i mean at least not for right now uh blush Still love this one. Absolutely gorgeous. But I did discover an orange one from uh, Tower 28, which is a cream bronzer. 
and it's absolutely delicious. I love that one. Also, I have uh, um, a palette from Sugary Cosmetics that is insane, insane, beautiful pigmented. So I like that more than this, but I have to say this one for more of a natural look, I definitely gonna go with this one. Highlighter, definitely not. Uh, for highlighter, I don't know necessarily which one is my favorite right now because I'm not big on highlighter, but this one definitely not my favorite anymore. For mascara, hmm, that's a good one. I don't know. I don't know. I still love the Marc Jacobs one, so I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'm going to have to come back to you and tell you <laughs> which way I feel. But the eyeshadow palette, insane. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. The lip liner from KKW, still love it. Although I have a new one, a new favorite one from uh, Huda Beauty that is an icon. And for the lipstick, love this. Love love but i do have some pat mcgrath mini lipsticks to bullet lipstick that i absolutely absolutely love and i also have charlotte tilbury that i absolutely love as well so this is all i have for you today thank you so so much for stopping by and uh, checking this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or and subscribe i am currently running giveaways uh gift card giveaways every month so make sure you check that description box below to see uh what you need to do to enter these giveaways thank you so much for being here and i'll see you all next time bye